Hello students, today we are going to study the second chapter from your English literature textbook which is a poem written by W. Allingham, DAV publication, class 7th. Are you ready? This poem is in a dialogue form. You may be wondering why the teacher is pronouncing the word poem as poem. Well, the correct pronunciation is poem and not poem. Let us move ahead with the understanding of this beautiful poem. As mentioned earlier, it's a conversation between a child and the bird. The child is trying to lure, tempt and attract the bird by offering her various comforts, luxuries and other beautiful offerings to make her her pet. But the bird denies all the offers for the sake of freedom. Let's see the first stanza of the poem. Here the girl, that is the child, is offering the bird all the comforts needed to fight the freezing cold by providing her with a quilt, a velvet bed and a satin pillow to rest her head upon as there is still time for summer. The bird denies the offer by stating that she has made her nest in the ivy plant which protects her from sun, wind and rain. The bird further states that the ivy plant is so secure that even when it's raining heavily, not a drop of water enters her nest but she is awakened by the first rays of the morning sun as they enter into her nest, telling her that it is time for her to leave the nest. The child doesn't give up and continues to tempt the bird and to be her pet. In the third stanza, the child offers her a necklace made up of diamond, jet and amber which is made by her. The bird denies the offer again and tells the child that the necklace that she has got is worth more than a thousand pounds as it is God's gift and cannot be snatched, stolen or broken by anyone as it is woven around her neck and will perish along with her. The girl is determined to make the bird her pet. She continues luring the bird. In the fifth stanza, she offers a golden cup to drink water from, a plate with a silver lining to eat fruits from, an ivory seat to sit upon and soft carpets for her feet so that the bird may not get hurt when she steps down in the cage. The bird very tenderly but firmly rejects all the offers and questions the child instead by asking her, First, can her silver lining plate hold the entire forest? Which means, will she be able to provide her with the desired fruit that she can get in the forest easily? Second question, can her golden cup hold the fresh flowing water which is available in abundance in the forest? And the bird not only can drink the fresh water anytime but also take a dip in the water whenever she feels to do so. Third question, can her ivory seat be compared to the rocking twig? which rocks her when she perches on it. For the bird perching on her desired tree and swinging on it is the best seed. Finally, the bird asks her if the soft carpets be compared to a flight of freedom 
in the open skies. With these queries, the bird bids the girl a goodbye till she meets her again. So students, what do we learn from the above poem? First, no one will give their freedom for any amount of wealth as the wealth is of no use if one is unable to go out and enjoy it. Second, the way we humans have the right to live a free life. Similarly, other creatures also have the right to live freely. Hence, we have no right to cage them for our own pleasure. To conclude, freedom is the most important factor in every living being's life. The best example is today's scenario in which we all have got caught due to the spread of COVID-19. We have to undergo a house arrest to save our lives and you can imagine how difficult it is to be imprisoned for whatever reason it may be. Hence, remember, Everyone loves their freedom and no one has the right to snatch it away from that person. We shall learn the most important aspect of the poem which makes the poem beautiful. They are called literary devices. We shall learn about them in the forthcoming audio, the link of which will be shared very soon. Till then, stay home, stay safe. Goodbye.